Hello and welcome to TV One Pentathlon Season 2. Hello Trishma, how are you? Doing well and I'm very excited because today we are yet again on another episode, another exciting match to find out the all-round champion and we have two very talented schools in the house. Okay, so then without much further ado, let's identify who the two teams will be taking on each other. So we get started with the girls first because we have a girls school and a boys school. So today joining us, the first team up on stage will be St. Joseph's Balika Kegol. Well, joining this very powerful girls team would be Richmond College Girl. Well, both teams have taken their spot on the stage, ready to take on each other. I would like to shift our attention towards the captain of the girls' school and find out how is your preparation right and are you ready to take on the boys from goal? Uh, I think we have done well for this competition and we think we can do this. You think you can do well? Are you sure about it? Yes. Yes, let's see how well the game goes on. Let's ask the boys and see how it goes for them as well. Well, from Richmond College, we have the captain Himanshu. How has your team been gearing up for this match? So, we have studied well and we practiced well. And we uh, did that it for long hours and we are ready to give a fair fight to our opponent's school. Fantastic! So, they've really practiced at both schools and I can't wait to see which one of them gets crowned as champions at the end of today's match. It's because they always say practice makes perfect. Let's see whether they live up to what they say. With that being said, it's time for us to introduce our elite panel of judges who has been assisting us throughout. And also joining uh, this evening on our panel would be Mrs. Uh, Deepika Gunir Naika, in service advisor, Colombo Education Zone. Also joining on the panel is Mrs. Lakshanti Gunaratna, in service advisor, Sri Javadin Purazoa. So we got our judges introduced. It's right about time that we kickstart proceedings here on this very match. How do we do those things? Well, we always start off our match with the tossing of the coin. So we'd like to invite both the captains to come forward as well as one of our judges to please join us on stage as we find out which one of the teams will be going first in all the rounds. Captains, come forward. Okay, so here we got the toss and captains, are you all ready? You are ready? You are ready. Both are ready and we are good to go. So, just like any toss, we got two sides with TV1 on one side and the other reads Pentathlon. I would like to ask the girls or the boys? Let's start off with the girls. So, which side do you select? I select Pentathlon. Pentathlon is what you select, which means you will definitely have to select TV1. Let's see how this goes. It is on whose favourite side? We have Pentathlon on the favouring side, which means it's in your favour. Are you going on first on every round or are you going to give it to your opponents? We are going to give it to the opponents. You're going to give it to the boys all the way from Gaul, Richmond College. What do you think about her decision? We are going to accept the challenge and we are going to give a great fight. Accepting the challenge and giving a great fight, well, that's how the whole game works. So, shall we shake hands and start things off? Well, Chamatka has won the toss and she decides that it is the boys who will be going in first from Richmond College. Let's see how the game goes and it's time for us to see the excitement on this very stage. So both teams are ready. What shall we do now? Well, let's start off by kicking off the first round. Which is Balance Your Quiz. Well, in our first round, each of our teams gets to send forward three co-players and they have a challenge of answering five questions within a span of 30 seconds. They do all of this while managing a table tennis ball on a table tennis racket. The first four questions answered correctly gives them five points. The fifth question answered correctly gives them 10 points. And if the team in total can answer 10 or more questions, they get a bonus of 10 points. Well, those are the simple rules and regulations of the first round. And uh, Himanshu, 
Do you think in total you will be able to answer 10 plus questions? Yeah, we are going to try our best. You are going to try. So first I would like to ask who are the three uh, co-players who will be joining you on this game? Yeah, so it will be Sudam, Kusal and me, myself. Awesome. So who is coming in first? I'm going to come. Come forward. Let's give it up to Himanshu. Himanshu is the opening batsman. Yeah. Are you good in cricket? Yeah. You yeah. sure? Yeah. But this is a total different game. So here you go. This is what you got to play with. And Krishma will be firing you with all the questions we got. The clock set. And your time starts in 3, 2, 1. Go. What is the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina? Pass. The answer is Sarajevo. What is the Earth's circumference in kilometers? Pass. The answer is 40,000. Kenneth Kaunda was the first president of which country? Philippines. Wrong, it's Zambia. In which film do you find the character Buzz Lightyear? Star Wars. Wrong, it's Toy Story. Kobe Bryant became world famous in which sport? Basketball. Correct. Your questions are up. With that, we'll shift on to the girls. Chamatka, who is coming in forward and who are your three core players? Chalani, Unduli and me. Okay, and who will be coming in first? Chalani. Chalani, come forward. Chalani, are you ready? Yes. Let's see how well you play this game. And the clock is set and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. What is the capital of Colombia? Pass. The answer is Bogota. What is the distance between North and South Pole in kilometres? 432 kilometres. Wrong, it's 14,000. Pierre Trudeau was the Prime Minister of which country? South Africa. Wrong, Canada. In which film do you find the character Queen Elsa? Pass. Frozen. Michael Schumacher became world famous in which sport? Football. Wrong, it's auto racing. The questions are up. You like the cartoon Frozen, don't you? Yes, I like it. So why didn't you remember the character? I'm so sorry, madam. No. Don't be sorry. Yes. Next time, okay? Thank you. Okay, right. So that's how she fares in that game. Let's move on to the boys' team and see the boys from Richmond College. Who's coming in next? Uh, it will be Sudam. Calm down. <laughs> Sudam, are you ready yes. to bring in those points to your school? Yes. Okay. Here you go, your clock is set, your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. 1924 Summer Olympic Games took place in which city? Adela. Wrong, it's Paris. Mother Teresa was born in which country? Yugoslavia. Correct. Mount Kilimanjaro is located in which country? Tanzania. Correct. Who wrote the drama Uncle Vanya? Anton Chigar. Correct. What is the atomic number of nitrogen? Sir. Correct, your questions are up. I think you would have to send someone equally good who is coming up next. I'm coming. The captain is coming. Come on down, Chamatka. Let's see how well you fare in this round. So let's see how well you play in this round. Your time is set. Your clock starts in 3, 2, 1, go. 1912 Summer Olympic Games took place in which city? Antwerp. Wrong. It's Stockholm. Mother Teresa was born into which ethnic group? Uh, pass. Euphrates River is originating from which country? Russia. Wrong, it's Turkey. Who wrote the drama Death of a Salesman? Uh, pass. It's Arthur Miller. What is the atomic number of helium? Two. Correct, your questions are up. The final set of questions to be thrown out in the first round goes out to Kusal. Kusal, are you ready? Yes. Kusal Janet. Kusal Pereira? No. Kusal Fabasir. Kusal? Fabasir. Okay, let's see how well you score the final round of the first match. The time is set and your time starts in 3, 2, 1. Red Sea is located in which ocean? Indian Ocean. Correct. Who invented the petrol car? Carl Lewis. Wrong, it's Carl Benz. Vangchuk monarchy rules which country? Kenya. Wrong, it's Bhutan. Who wrote the adventure novel King Solomon's Mines? Pass. It's Ryder Haggard. Which all-round cricketer was named Haryana Hurricane? Kapil Dev. Correct. Your questions are up. Final to be sent out. Who is it, Chamatka? Unduli. Come down. Are you set to go? Yes. Here you go. The time is set and it starts in 
three, two, one, go. Gulf of Guinea is located in which continent? Africa. Correct. Name two planets who don't have moons. Uh, Uranus, Neptune. Wrong, it's Mercury and Venus. King Harold V rules which country? Germany. Wrong, it's Norway. Who wrote the adventure novel Treasure Island? Mark Twain. Wrong, it's R.L. Stevenson. Which fast bowler was nicknamed Big Bird? Uh, E.B. Devilius. Wrong, it's Joel Garner. The time. I think uh, both teams fairly played uh, equally all right, but we need to find out that because we got a very exciting round which is coming up, which is express to impress. But first, let's head into a short break and see what the scores are on the other side. You are watching TV One Pentathlon Season, season two. 2. Welcome back. You're watching TV One Pentathlon Season 2. We just finished a highly thrilling first round and we're back with the results of the same. So let's see how both our teams have fared at the end of round one. Let's start off with the score from St. Joseph's Balika Kegol. They have scored themselves 15 points. And we move on now to find out how the boys from Richmond College Gaul have fared. They have scored themselves 50 points. Well, there seems to be quite a lead to catch up by the girls, but this round is more favourable to the girls because you all are very dramatic, is it? Well, it's time for us to move on to our second very interesting round, which is Express. To impress. Well, in our second round, which is Express to impress, as Joel already mentioned, it's quite a dramatic round because our judges will now get to test the ability of our participants on their acting skills, their pronunciation, their diction, their presentation, their creat creativity and their imagination because we are going to give them a story lead that they choose and they have to continue the story and act it out for everybody here. Alright, let's get started with this first school which is Richmond College Gaul and we'll find out what's the topic they pick for themselves. A voyaging ship was wrecked during a storm at sea and only two of the men in it were able to swim to a small desert-like island. The two survivors, not knowing what else to do, agreed that they had no other recourse but to pray to God. However, to find out whose prayer was more powerful, they agreed to divide the territory between them and stay on opposite sides of the island. And then, and then we are yet to find out how well the boys from Goa put it out on this very stage. So let's say a prayer and start things out. We got two minutes on the clock and your time starts now. Oh friend, look, there's a storm. Friend, storm. friend, storm. there's a storm coming. I need food. Friend, get up. Stop! Stop! What shall we do? Let's jump and okay. save our lives. What? What? What's the captain? No time. Help me. Help me. Okay. Wow, that's nice. Whew. Land. Friend. There's no island anywhere. What shall we do? Friend, now there's no other no other things for us to do without praying for God. So let's divide and pray for our gods. Okay. Pray for let's our go. Gods. Okay, I'm I'm praying, I'm praying. Wait a second. Just going to the suitable place. <sighs> God, please help me. Okay, God, I pray. help me. I'm hungry. Uh, son. Oh, son. God. I heard your plea. I came to help you. But one thing. You can claim only one thing from me. I'll give it to you. So, so I need to go to my house. Okay. And meet my family member. Okay. Eat this mango. Your hope will happen. Oh, my son. Oh, please I told give you me some food. You gone forever. I need some food. Oh God, if there's anyone as there, you, I need some as food. As we saw the captain's body oh. in the coaster, we thought that. Son, 
son. Uh, please go. Son. I need some food. Oh my god. Sir, what shall I do? I'm a god boy. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see you. You're just like. Yeah. I heard you, please. I came to help you. What do you want? You can claim only one thing from me. Okay. So can I bring back my friend because there's a nice okay. coconut. Well, that was a splendid performance put out by the boys all the way from Gaul. Himanzu, are you hungry? No. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. Your parents are going to have a good time washing your uniforms. You know that? Yeah. Because you're all the time on the ground. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, you have a small thing to do. Instead of a storm is coming, can you say Fishma is coming and can you scream? Okay? Okay. Okay, okay let's see how, how well he does it, okay? You're ready for it, okay. He's coming to the middle also, okay. Now, uh, Trishma is the storm, okay. Trishma, do something. Oh my god, friends, Trishma is coming! Run! Okay. I so didn't Trish know it was so scary. <laughs> so, next time I see you, Trishma, I'm gonna make that yeah, noise. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be like she's coming. <laughs> Okay, right, so that's how well the boys put it up on this very stage all the way from Gaul. We now need to find out how the girls perform on this. So let's see what they pick up. Once there was an old man who had four sons. All four of them were very lazy. One day the old man felt sick and was counting his last days in bed. He worried a lot about his son's future as the young men hesitated to work. The sons believed that luck would favour them. The old man's health deteriorated every day and he decided to talk to his sons about their future. However, his sons did not listen to him. And then... And then something very interesting, something very creative could come out from the girls. Let's see how they work it out. we got two minutes on the clock and your time starts now. <laughs> oh my god! I will I return my mobile phone? Oh my god! And my car racing? And is that me who has no money for buy pizzas and burgers no more? Father oh. looks so easy in her, he's deathbed. Yes. What are you saying? <laughs> Nonsense. Who would you spend to my fiance? No. Oh god. Fiance. Please. Please tell my children. Please, I'm not in my kids, children. <coughs> uh, I have to tell you something. Now, I'm going to say my last will. <coughs> He's going to say his last will? Uh, uh, but before that, you have to go to the attic room and to open the cupboard. <coughs> it's going to be going. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> diary? Diary? I think that's our father's diary. The old diary. Uh, then let's yes. check oh. it. Yeah. Let me check. 1992. Two. Second March? Yeah. I couldn't sell any food today. What's this? I can't understand. Yes. Food? Yeah. Hey, what's this? A key for success. <laughs> this suits me. It's a recipe. <coughs> but this will help for us? Yes. I think this must be the recipe that helped for father. Yes. yes. To success his recipe. Yes. yes. Once we try this? Yes. yes. Well, St. Joseph's Valika all the way from Kegol. Do you think it was a good performance? Yes. Yes? yes? You have a task to do. You gave out some cry, you know. Can you say that you all won the game and cheer like that? Crying. Crying? Yes. <laughs> okay, that was a 
I guess a bit like crying looking at her. Did you feel like crying, Prishma? Well, I do hope that luck is in their favour and they can at least not cry today. Yes. <laughs> in order to read out the points at the end of round two, I would like to shift our attention towards uh, Mrs. Uh, Lakshanti Gunaratna. How are the points like at the end of round two? I'm sure it was a good competition between the two games, but we would like to know what the final decision is. First of all, I would like to say that both teams did their dramas extremely well. But both teams could not end their dramas according to the given time. However, in this particular uh, round, express to impress, you were able to impress us. So we had to uh, award marks considering uh, the criteria like creativity, relevance to the context and presentation of the plot. Thereby we have awarded 55 points to St. Joseph's Balika Kegal and we have awarded 65 points to Richmond's College Board. Well, thank you very much, Mrs. Lakshanti, for awarding those points uh, to both the teams who played very well in round two. But we would like to see what the scores are like at the end of two rounds, which is the first and second combined. How do the scores look so far? Well, let's start off with the girls from St. Joseph's Balika, Kegal. At the end of round two, their total so far is 70 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, the boys from Richmond College, Gaul, at the end of round two, their total so far is 115 points. With that being said, it's time for us to move on to a very physical and brain game, I would say, which is the third round of this match, and it is called Word the Basket. Well, in our third round, we this time get to test the vocabulary as well as the physical ability of our players. Each of the teams gets to send forward three co-players. They're given a word with 12 alphabets that they're going to supposed to guess. But several of those words will be locked. To unlock the words, they have to successfully net the ball into the basket. Each successful netting gives them 10 points. And if they guess the word correctly, they get themselves 70 points, adding up to a total of 100 points. Well, those are the rules of round three, which is a very interesting round. Let's find out what number is picked by the captain of Richmond College Gold. This is word number four. Let's take a look at the word. It's two blanks. B, two blanks, R, two blanks, T, two blanks and finally N. Well, that is the word which they have got. I would like to ask the captain of Richmond College Gaul, who are your three core players who will be going in for this challenge? So, it's going to be me, uh, Chanupa and Sudha. And Himansu, who is going in first? I'm going in first. The captain, Himansu, is going in first. Himansu, I would like to ask you, what is the letter you would like unlocked? Uh, it's the first blank. The first blank. Okay, here you go. Who is so, coming in next? So we are going to take the second blank. And that means the first blank. And uh, Sudam will be coming. Sudam, come forward. Imansu, who is coming in next? So it will be uh, the blank after T. The blank after T. And who is coming in? Uh, so Chanuka will be coming. Chanuka, come in. Let's see whether you are able to get that sorted out. Well, Sanuka was able to successfully basket that. Captain, are you going in with the rest of the two players or yeah. are you going to guess the word? No, we are going to go to the next player. Next player and who is that going to be and which letter would you like unlocked? You need to make your decision Okay, quickly. so it's going to be the blank after B. Blank after B. The blank after B and who is coming in? And it will be uh, Kusar. Kusar, come in forward. Let's see how well it works for you. Kusal was not able to. Well, Captain, also note that there's a deduction of points when you send in your extra players. 
Who is coming in next? Are you sending in ne someone else next or are you going to decide what the word is? So we are going to send Oshad. The final player, Oshadi. Yeah, and, and it will be the uh, blank in front of R. The blank in front of R. Come forward, Oshadi. Let's see. Now it's your task to decide what the hidden spaces are and discover what the word is. Himansu, your countdown starts in 10, 9, 8, so, we are, 7. We are going to guess the word. Yes, it's, you are going to guess the word, what it is. It's a subscription. Uh, Can you spell it out for us? It's S U B S C R I P T I O N. Iman, so are you sure about the idea? <laughs> I must be, no, sir, because, because I get the answer. I feel that there's another I. You're sweating. Why are you sweating? It's my habit, I can't stop it. You sweat when you're in tension? I or sweat. when you make the wrong decision? No, I sweat when, when I'm also in sleep, so... So are you sleepy now? No. And I think you guessed the word wrong. No, I think it must sleeping. be right. It must be right, so... Yeah, it's... It could be correct, it could be wrong. Let's see what the word is. Well, that is the correct answer. Points awarded to Richmond College Gore. Let's see how the girls from K Gore take part in it. But first, you need to pick a number in order to discover what your challenge is. This is word number eight. Captain Chamatka, who are your three core players who will be going in for this game? Chalani, Limasha and me. Shalini, Nimash and yourself. Okay, let's see what the word is. You got two spaces, C, again two blanks, T, two blanks, S, two blanks and finally a T. Captain Chamatka, who will you be sending in first and what is the letter you would like unlocked? Shalani for the second blank. Shalani comes in with the second blank. Here you go Shalani. Samatka, what's your call? I'm coming for the first blank. Well, Samatka goes beyond with a lot of energy and she's not able to score that basket. Well, Samatka, you were not able to score that basket. What are you going to do in next? Who are you going to send? And what letter would you like unlocked? Limasha will be going for the blank after C. The blank after C it is. Okay, come forward. Are you going to send in uh, the next player? Or, or are you going to decide on what the word is? You need to make that decision quickly. We are sending the next player, Unduli, for the blank after uh, before T. The blank before T it is. You are not. What are you going to do, Captain? Are you going to send in the final player or are you going to decide on the word? You need to make your decision quickly. Now, Itma will be going for the blank after T. The blank after T and your final player. The countdown begins and you have to decide on what the word is. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. We are telling the word. You are telling the word. Dictatorship. Dictatorship. D I C T A T O R S H I P. Your decision is final. Yeah. Yes. We are ready to accept and decide. Are you sure about what you wrote down? 
know. You're not sure. So dictatorship is not the word. Uh, we don't know. You don't know, but you just said it out, which means you'll be scoring negative points. It's just a case. Without taking much delay, let's take a look at what the word is. Dictatorship it is, which means you are given point. So well, that's how the whole game moves forward with a lot of pressure, a lot of excitement. But we have more coming up. That is after this short commercial break. Keep it locked. You are tuned on to TV1 Pentathlon, Pentathlon Season 2. Hello and welcome. You're watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. two. Well, just before we went on for a short break, we told you that we'll have the results and more excitement coming your way. And it's time for us to find out how the results are and how both teams have scored at the end of three rounds. Let's take a look. Well, let's find out what the scores are in round three, first of all. Let's start off with the girls. The girls from St. Joseph's Balika Kegol. In the third round, they scored themselves 50 points and that brings their total so far to 120 points. Meanwhile, we have the boys from Richmond College Gaul in the third round. They scored themselves 80 points and that brings their total up to 195 points. Well, things could change when the rounds continue and it's time for us to go into the fourth round which is Target. Your knowledge. In our fourth round, each of our teams gets to send forward three co-players. These co-players then have to step up to the spinning wheel and target their dart on any one of the colours on the wheel. Each of the colours corresponds to a subject from which they will be asked a question. Each correct answer gives them 25 points. If they choose to double and give a correct answer, they get 50 points. But if they choose to double and give a wrong answer, there will be negative marking. Well, there will be negative marking and many much more excitement. Just let me give you a brief of how this colour circle works in. So blue represents sports and games. Then on yellow, we have art and entertainment. On red, we have science and technology. Orange represents history. Then we have green, geography. Purple, literature, white, which is a trump, where you could select any of those what I mentioned above. With that being said, let's shift our attention and quickly start off the game, which is round four. Richmond College goal, Himansu, the captain. Who are your three co players? So it will be uh, Oshada, Kusal, and Shanuka. Oshada, Kusal, and Shanuka. And who will be coming in first? Uh, it will be Kusal. Kusal, calm down. Three, two, one. It is purple, which represents literature. Purple for literature. Would you like to go in for a double? No. All right, you are playing it safe, but let's take a look at your AV. Name this author known for writing the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. Your options are A, James Dashner, B, Rick Riordan, C, Dean Koontz, or D, James Patterson. It's the answer is B, Rick Ryder. Are you sure? Yes. Do you read the book? Uh, no. No? no. <laughs> Alright, you're guessing that the answer is B. The correct answer is B, Rick Riordan. I would like to ask Jamatka, who are your three co players you'll be sending in for this? Limasha, Unduli, and Navitma. And who will be going in first? Uh, Limasha. Limasha, come down. And your time starts in 3, 2, 1. Which means a disqualification. Well, we have to move on with the game and let's once again cross over to the guys and see, boys, what 
player will be coming next. Okay, so it's gonna be Osha then. Three, two, one. Yellow it is, which is art and entertainment. You've chosen art. Would you like to go in for a double? No. No. Okay, let's take a look at your AV. Name the artist who painted that painting, which was sold in 2006 for $140 million, making it the most expensive painting ever at that time. Your options are A. Edward Hopper, B. Winslow Homer, C. Jackson Pollock, or D. Andy Warhol. It's answer C. Jackson Pollock. Are you sure about yeah. this? How are you so sure? <laughs> You, have you seen this painting before? Yeah. yeah oh, I you have. So. All right. You say C, Jackson Pollock, and that is the correct answer. Girls, who are you going to send in next? I don't think you made the right decision when selecting your players. Uh, are you going to send in the proper player next? Yes. Who is that going to be? Nami. Okay. The time starts in three, two, one. It is. Two disqualifications. It's the first time. It's the first time that this is happening. Two disqualifications. But let's end things with a smile because you've got one more chance. Yes, Chamatka? And I think that would make a difference. With that hope, once again to the very cheerful, very excited boys all the way from Gaul, from Richmond College. Let's see who Himansu picks in next. Okay, so it's going to be uh, Chanup, eh? Uh, Chanuka, calm down. Three, two, one. You've got yellow that is already. yellow art already and entertainment, which means Chanuka, you have to go in for another chance because you all got the same question before as well. You can target slowly, okay? Three, two, one. That is also again. got purple, right? Yeah, again, again, again. again. Purple. Without, no. without purple and yellow, can you go with something else? Well, Zanuka, in the first attempt it was yellow and the second attempt it was purple, which means both attempts were given to those schools. And according to the rules, we go on with the selection on your left-hand side, which is orange. And that means history. Well, you've chosen history. Would you like to go in for a double? Yeah. No, okay, they're playing it really cool here. Let's take a look at your AV. Name this American political scientist, diplomat and geopolitical consultant who served as the United States Secretary of State and National Security Advisor under the presidential administrations of Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford. Your options are A. Henry Kissinger B. Robert McNamara C. John Foster Dulles or D. Dean Rusk The time is ticking. I think it's uh, the answer is A. The time is ticking. I, uh, the answer is A. Henry Kissinger. How sure are you about this? No, not sure at not all. Not sure at all? <laughs> So do you think this is going to be one of those luck by chance moments? Yeah. Or will that be the incorrect answer? Well, we'll find out. You have said the answer is A. Henry Kissinger. I'm afraid it's luck by chance again. A is the correct answer. Right. So we'll move on to the girls. Who is going to come in last from your team for this round? Unduli will be coming. Unduli. Unduli, come forward. Okay, your time starts in three, two, one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. A total wow. It's a trump. Which means you can select any of the following topics. Sports and games, art and entertainment, science and technology, history, geography or literature. What is your best? Uh, we are selecting geography. Geography. And would you like to go in for a double? Yes. Yes, they've selected geography. They're going in for a double. So let's see if luck is on their favor. Let's take a look at your AV.
Identify the country highlighted in red on the map. Your options are A. Niger B. Nigeria C. Libya or D. Mali Your time is ticking, girls. You have to tell the answer quickly, otherwise it's You have five seconds. Your time? Uh, yeah, time is up. Eight. Time is up. The time is up. Do you know what that means? If we have a wrong answer or even a no answer, that gives you negative marking. The correct answer is A, Niger. Well, it was two disqualifications and finally, we thought Uduli will make that difference. And she, with the support of my hi-fi, she was able to get that from. But unfortunately, things didn't work out really well because here in Pentatilan, we teach you time management is of extreme and utmost importance. Always keep that in mind. Well, I heard those whispers coming out with the right answer, but unfortunately, you were not able to score that double point and you have a lot of minus points. But things could change in the fifth and final round. But before that, let's find out what the results are like at the end of four very competitive rounds. Well, that was a topsy-turvy round right there, especially for our girls. Let's find out how the scores look like at the end of the fourth round. We find out what St. Joseph's Balika Kegol have scored so far in the fourth round, they have scored themselves, unfortunately, minus 15 points. That brings their total to 105 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have the boys from Richmond College Gaul in the fourth round, scoring themselves 75 points. And that brings their total up to 270 points. Well, it is a gigantic lead by the boys from Gaul, Richmond College. But we see some sad faces coming out from the girls from K Golf. Don't worry, that's how the game moves on because the next round is called something very interesting where maybe you could show some improvement in your points. So, without much further ado, let's move on to the fifth and final round of this match, which is called the Buzzer Round. <laughs> We're now on our fifth and final round, which is the buzzer round. The rules are very simple. Each of the teams gets to answer 10 questions. If they give a correct answer, that's 10 points. However, if it's a wrong answer, they will be scored negative five. Let's get started. This is question number one. The Fields Medal is a prize awarded for achievements in mathematics every four years by which organization? Your time's up. The correct answer is International Mathematical Union. Question number two. World's biggest e-commerce site, Amazon's headquarters are located in which US state? Time's up. The correct answer is Washington. Question number three. When a minimum of 20 test innings are considered, which batsman has the second highest batting average in an innings in test cricket after Donald Bradman? Oshida. Steve Smith. Steve Smith is the correct answer. We move on to question number four. Who is the current president of South Africa? Cyril Ramaphosa. Cyril Ramaphosa is the correct answer. Question number five. Which billionaire is considered the richest person in India? Time. Time's up. The correct answer is Mukesh Ambani. Question number six. The world's youngest sovereign nation, South Sudan, was founded in which year? Chanupa. 
Chanukka, Chanukka. 2011. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number seven. The headquarters of Transparency International is located in which country? Himanshu. Himanshu. Montreal. Canada. That's the wrong answer. There'll be negative points for that. We would like to uh, ask the opposing team, do you know what the correct answer is for that question? Udali? Canada. That's the incorrect answer. The correct answer is Germany. Question number eight. Name the former Bangladeshi Prime Minister recently sentenced to five years in prison after being found guilty on corruption charges. That's the correct answer. Question number nine. Before Rangana Herat, who held the world record for the most number of test wickets? Chanuka. Chanuka. Wasim Akram. Let me complete the question. Taken by a left arm bowler, you said the answer is Wasim Akram, and that is the correct answer. And we're now on question number 10, which is the final question for this game. Japan went through a political restoration under the Emperor Meiji in which year? Time's, Time's up. up. The correct answer is 1868. Well, with that, we bring to close the fifth and final round. Well, the girls were not able to perform or score any point for their team and school. But the boys were giving in a good fight, answering whatever they knew. Well, we need to find out how the scores look like at the end of five very competitive rounds. We'll be right back. Keep it locked because you need to know who wins this match. This is TV1 Pentathlon, Pentathlon Season 2. two. Welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Well, before heading on to a very quick break, we told you that we have to do something very extremely important, which is to find out as to which team is leading and which team is not able to score up to the mark. Because we have the results at the end of very challenging five rounds. But before that, we have to tell you something very important, which is the decision of finding out who the pentathlete is of this very challenging match. So let's find out who the pentathlete is. For that, I would like to direct my attention towards Mrs. Deepka Gunenaka, in service advisor, Columbia Education Zone, to find out the result. According to your overall performances, we are pleased to announce the best pentathlete, Sudam from Richmond College Girl. Well, Sudam from Richmond College Goal bags the title of pentathlete. Congratulations to you. But we need to find out the most important thing, which is who is the winning team of this match. And Prishma has all the results, all up from round one to round five. How does the total look like? Well, let's find out what the scores are like in our final round. In the final round, we had St. Joseph's Balika K Goal scoring themselves, unfortunately, zero points, but that brings their total to 105 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, we see the boys from Richmond College Gaul. In the fifth round, they scored themselves 45 points and that brings their final score to the winning total today, 315 points. <laughs> Well, the boys from Gaul have been able to clinch that victory in this match. But remember, you have more challenging excitement in rounds to come as you progress. With that being said, we would also like to congratulate the team all the way from K Gaul to taking part in the Pentathlon Championship, which is of most utmost importance. With that being said, let's move on to the presentation and I would like to invite our esteemed panel of judges to assist us with the distribution. First, it's time for us to award the pentathlete of this match, who is undoubtedly none other than Sudam from Richmond College, Gore.
Well, we congratulate Sudam on winning that title. Let's move on with presenting the certificates to the team who will not be qualifying for the next round. But we value their participation. So shall we put our hands together for the team all the way from Kegol, St. Joseph's Balika. Well, with that amazing match coming to an end, it's time for us to leave you today. Well, I'm sure if you were tuned in, you would have had a lot of excitement and also a lot of knowledge to store in your head. Well, it's time for us to wrap things here from the studio. Yes, but don't forget to join us next week, same time, same place. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season, Season 2. two.